Hello, what is up guys? We are now up to 6 subscribers. Wow, we are in the big leagues now. Yesterday and day before, oh my gosh, I was getting so many calls from fans all day asking when my next video is coming up. And finally, I've got my cube, so yeah. Oof. Popularity can be quite overwhelming sometimes. Anyway, here's the two more puzzles. Both are by this Chinese company called Dian Sheng. I've heard about them before. They have some pretty unique shape modification style of puzzles. And surprisingly enough, I found these not on a cubing store, but on Amazon. And that too for, that too for much cheaper than I thought I would get these. Basically, I was ordering something else three days ago and um, you know how delivery is only free past a certain price threshold, right? So I just scrolled through and I saw these and uh, yeah, I just picked them. And one of these was in fact a last piece, one of these two. So these are called the um, sword and shield puzzles. Um, no wait, blade and shield puzzles. Anyway, uh, I didn't get much of a chance to look them up before ordering, but I think it should be fine and um, naturally I'm not getting my expectations too high uh, my belief is that it's gonna be like fun shaped puzzles with some cheap plastic that I'll probably enjoy a few times and then I'll just uh, just leave it for my collection sort of anyway here's the sword and shield puzzles I mean blade and shield puzzles okay I'll open the blade first because it's literally trying to get out already. You can see this thing poking out. Uh, I don't think it's that sharp. But it's certainly sharp enough to ruin this cover. I expect it's just the shape, but anyway. Here it is. Now it doesn't want to come out. There, it's a lot larger than I thought it was. Hmm. Here it is. Hmm. Quality is a lot better than I expected. The size too, actually. It's uh, when I saw the item listing, I expected both of these to be much, much smaller. But of course, I could see this right now through the packaging itself. So, uh, so I'm not completely taken by surprise. This plastic too. I was half afraid this would be some local product that I wouldn't be able to use because on Amazon it wasn't uh, listed as. Diane Sheng. It was just some local name like uh, Magic Cube, Heavy Intelligence Puzzle. Or, you know how it is, right? unnecessarily long names when it's like local stuff. But I saw this this name Diane Sheng on on the cover art and in the description. And indeed, this this I I think this is the real thing. <laughs> Twists pretty well too. I don't want to completely shuffle it yet. It does shape shift pretty well. Let me try maybe one more. How do I turn this beyond one? You can do this turn. Yeah. You can see that <laughs> starting to shape shift. Nice, nice. Let me move on to its more defensive sibling. Here's the Dian Sheng shield. The packaging is a little more intact with this one. Um, there's a name, there's a brief design. Colors may vary, yeah. It says magic cube square on it. It's not magic, it is not a cube, and there are no squares on this. I don't know how this, this name makes any sense whatsoever. Anyway, that's, <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> mm. It also says age is 3 plus. Okay, so for those of you who were thinking that the Rubik's Cube is like a kid's toy or something, here's news for you guys. This is not for kids, it's only. Okay, it's for ages 3. Okay, I, I'm not really proving anything with this, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't say anything and just move on. There's another flap, and here is the puzzle. Nope. Here is the puzzle. 
Yep. Hmm. Very nice. It's a little bit of dust because you can see that the packaging had like these holes in it. So I think that's why there's a bit of dust. It says Dian Schengen has that logo right at the center. I think the other one did too. So yeah, it's the same plastic, same build quality. Turns decent enough. Maybe a little better than the other one. Oh wow. This is very nice. This is really, really good for the price. Um, I was hoping to get both in black color. Where does that one go? I've already lost it. Hmm, here it is. Okay, so, okay, so this one does not have the logo, but yeah, it's the same build quality, so I, I'm pretty sure it's legit. Anyway, um, like I was saying, I was hoping to get both of these in black color. By black, I mean this this plastic that it's made of. Here, it's, it's both white. I want it. I always prefer black base rather than white or stickerless. Just personal preference, nothing else. Um, but the good thing is both are white. So... I'm glad that they're both the same color since they feel like twin puzzles, kind of like sword and shield, right? I mean, blade. Oof. Um, I wonder if one of them is easier to solve than the other or anything like that, you know? You know what? This one, when I look at it from this angle, uh, I'm just finding it hard to see through this camera. Uh, center this is one face you know what dude this is a 3 by 3 this is a 3 by okay I'm pretty sure this is a 3 by 3 let me just test the turning yeah this is definitely a 3 by 3 <laughs> Wow. What about this one then? Uh, if I look at it like this, this is also a 3 by 3. Both of these are regular Rubik's Cube shape mods. Okay. Okay. That's very interesting. I didn't actually know that. Wow. Um, so these. These are the same puzzle. They're both exactly like a regular Rubik's Cube, just slightly modified in shape and color, of course. They have a lot more sides as well. This, I think, has the same number of sides, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six sides. This has a lot more sides, but um, it's it's still basically six turnable faces on both of these. They're both, I'm pretty sure they're Rubik's Cube shape mods. Um, so I think, since I think I know how to solve it, I don't need to experiment much before getting into a solve. I can directly just start shuffling. I can be confident that <laughs> I can solve it once, you know, once I get some time to look at it again. Um, and I'll just show you how it looks when it's shuffled. I think that'll be interesting. I'll probably shuffle that one too. If that is also a, a shape mod of a 3x3, which I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, the fact that I've already uh, got the hang of how to turn it is testament to the fact that, yeah, I'm able to see it for what it is. It is definitely a 3x3. I probably won't solve it right away. Um, I just felt confident enough to scramble one of these just to see what it looks like on camera very nice let me just do this one as well this is a little more tricky I, i'm not i didn't actually it's not as evident as that one that it's a shape mod of a regular three by three whoa this is this is pretty cool i mean look at this thing is sticking out Uh, yeah, okay. 
this is getting pretty crazy pretty fast i mean look at all these pokey parts <laughs> sticking out from all kinds of places there are sometimes when i'm unsure of which pieces can be moved huh that's yeah that's pretty much a mess <laughs> kind of a symmetric mess sounds good very nice so that's about it for today's video Ooh, or is it Ta -da -ta -ta -da -da. Ooh, what's this another box and ooh, what is this another box and ooh, what's this <laughs> another box so many puzzles what <laughs> i also like the fact that they're all the same size exact same size that is so nice i don't know why i just like it the fact that they're all the same size <laughs> okay so um i need like a cutter or a scissor okay i see a pen mm. oh no wait i can use this thing mm -hmm. to open this up because it's a blade get it yeah okay no i can't this is a useless blade the pen is mightier than the sword <sighs> okay i think this video is actually quite long already so instead of rushing through like three different things again i'll just take a break now because i'm kind of tired too so i'll just uh I'll resume later probably. I'll do this soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.